Hey guys, welcome back to another fresh episode on wireless technology. So in today's video, let's see some of the technologies which are uh, mainly employed in order to facilitate the WPAN communication. So in today's video, let's see uh, the five main technologies that are most widely used in the WPAN technologies. So let's get started. So uh, in the number one uh, technology that comes in the WPAN is called as the Insteon. So uh, it's also called as the Domotics since it's mainly used in the home automation systems. Uh, and it's enabled in devices such as you have the thermostats, you have the switches, leak sensors, motion sensors. Leak sensors are something like that. Uh, if there is a particular leak in some kind of uh, device, then it will automatically identify where that particular leak or where in what section that particular leak is. And it operates with the radio frequency or with the power lines or you can use the combination of both the radio frequency as well as the power lines and it employs something called as a dual mesh networking topology now in this uh, what you have each device or each node which participates in this kind of uh, technology is self transmitting or it's self receiving messages means uh, if i am a device and i can myself transmit some messages to some other device or i can receive messages from other device so there is no need for any other centralized control or centralized repository where i need to be controlled and it has some native clients on uh, iOS, watch OS, Android and Windows operating systems. So on these devices or uh, with this operating systems, you can mainly use the instant technology. Next, we move on to the IR that is infrared. So we already know we have seen the frequency spectrum uh, where its frequency ranges and uh, in what wavelength it operates. So it's an invisible electromagnetic radiation, which is having longer wavelength as compared to the visible light. And it's used mainly in the industrial, scientific and the medical applications. Next, we talk about the wireless universal serial bus. It's called as the WUSB. So uh, this can be thought of like a device uh, where you just plug on to your laptop, uh, port of your laptop and you just access your uh, wireless keyboard or the wireless mouse. So it can be thought of like a miniature kind of uh, USB device where you just plug and remotely you can uh, access all those things which is done with the help of wireless keyboard, uh, wired keyboard as well as the uh, wired mouses. And so it's a low range wireless communication uh, protocol and it's based on the IPv6 that is the internet protocol version 6 technology and it's created by the WUSB promoter group and uh, talking about the data speeds its speeds are up to 480 mbps and which is up to 3 meters and if you want to have larger distances that is up to 10 meters it can serve up till 110 mbps and it operates in the 3.1 to 10.6 gigahertz frequency range next we move on to the fourth kind of technology like we have the z wave or it, you can call it a z wave so it's developed by the zensys group and it's a wireless communication protocol used mainly in the remote control application. So uh, in your uh, home itself, you have uh, various devices enabled with uh, the infrared blaster and many kind of things. So uh, in your TV setup, if you want to have the remote access, you make use of this kind of Z wave technology. So it's used in the low power radio frequency in electronic devices such as lighting and other household appliances and it can be operated locally using a smart speaker or uh, using a wireless key fob device or you can have a wall mounted panel with a Z wave so this can be thought of like you can have this kind of some device or some kind of panel is there and in that panel you have some gateway which serves as a hub now through this hub you can uh, just access these devices or you can just control uh, via some portal which is uh, mounted outside your house or inside your house so anyways you can just control it and it operates in the 800 to 900 megahertz and the range of this z wave is up to 100 meters next you have something called as the body area network so you already know uh, your van that is wide area network metropolitan area network man local area network LAN, and then you have the personal area network which we see in this now there is something other called as you have the body area network which is also called as the body sensor network or wireless band or it's also called as the m band that is the medical body area network so it's mainly used in the medical applications where you require a major monitoring of the heart control or heart sensor so it mainly used in that 
so talking about this band it's mainly a wireless device that can be worn so it's like a kind of wearable device or something called as a torso where you can just uh, wear around your uh, chest and this uh, lower abdomen and you can uh, do many activities with that so bsns are the devices embedded within our body or you just can put inside your body so it's like uh, if i uh, do some kind of operation uh, on this portion and I can just install uh, this particular kind of uh, BSN chip inside my uh, veins and I can do many kind of operations. So uh, that's majorly used in the Cybrock uh, kind of things and it can be also carried in clothes or either in pockets or it can be used in wallets or handbags and so you can just carry and do many kind of things with that so it mainly consists of some things called as the body sensor units bsus and body control units so uh, there are multiple number of bsus say for example bsus are there here you may put one bsu here you may put one bsu here so many BSUs are connected and those BSUs are controlled with the help of a one single body control unit that is BCU and uh, to enable this the data hubbing is mainly done by large sized tab or pad sized smart devices which you have and it acts like a data hub as well as a gateway so these devices both act as a gateway as a da data hub and provides the user interface to view and control uh, various BAN applications so with this you can uh, just do in the uh, medical field various kinds of activities which you carry out there which is more crucial so that can be easily done with the help of body area network so well that was all regarding the introduction and the development technologies so hope you guys enjoyed this if you found out as you were watching this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video